everyone welcome to my channel welcome to all my new subscribers so today i'm going to have a look at yuna and lee jun ho uh let's have a look how does uh, yuna feel about lee jun ho how does yuna feel how do i feel about lee jun ho Do you know feel about Lee Jun Ho? No, I didn't look up. I'm I'm answering a viewer request. I didn't really look into. Well, uh, I think is Yuna a singer or an actress? I'm not sure, but um, you know Yuna and Lee. All of all these people from South Korea, they're so gorgeous looking. Um, yeah. Let me just see all that. <laughs> Trying to get everything into the frame. This one's a bit tricky when uh, working with a tripod. Okay. Oh position my chair now let's have a look how does you now feel about lee jun ho oh. <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> okay all right that's like a marriage card <laughs> two of cups now what's the challenge card oh that's interesting we've got a ten of wands that tends to like an ending. <laughs> um, did they act together in something? I'm, you know, maybe, maybe I should have looked them up a little bit more. Because um, this could be referring to maybe roles that they had in a, in a film together, perhaps. But yeah. yeah, let's keep looking. What's the foundation of how she feels about Lee Jun Ho? Wow. <laughs> This is awkward, but not awkward, but it's like I'm getting, if I was to just read it at face value, we've got a marriage, we've got a divorce, and number 10, hard work, something's done. <laughs> All right. What's in the past leading up to this? Five of Pentacles. It's so fascinating. It, it, I wonder, has Yuna, has her career just really blossomed lately? Because it looks like maybe she was an unknown. She felt like a bit of an outsider. And maybe she ha was in a role with Lee Jun Ho. Now I have to kind of look him up a little bit. I think they were in a role, weren't they? yeah okay so i'm not really sure <laughs> i know almost nothing but you know some i like to actually not you know read too much before i started reading because um the less bias the reader tends to have and i like to go in cold not knowing anything and then the cards can sort of tell me what they're going to tell me um okay let's keep looking what crowns how yuna feels about lee jun ho Wow. Okay, what comes next? Jeez Louise, another 10. All right. Further on, how does she feel about Lee Jun Ho? 
this is like a man that's in the spotlight usually king of wands is a fire sign man like leo sagittarius or aries i tend to see this as a leo card just because he's front and center uh fire sign men are you know they're usually they're not meek <laughs> <laughs> so she sort of I think she sees him in a very favorable light um, and he and Lee Jun Ho he's in Aquarius so okay what's in the surroundings Knight of Pentacles okay what are Yuna's hopes and fears about Lee Jun Ho hmm and what's the final outcome Ooh la la. All right then. Okay, I'm going to ask for a clarifier for the devil. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious to see what his cards will say would say now. Um You know, it's one of those things, I think they did start in something together, and I'm kind of going by, I'm not sure how well known Yuna was before they um, got together. Uh, I th I'm going, I'm not necessarily seeing, this is how she feels about Lee Jun Ho. So usually you got the Two of Cups, but you know, that's like a, a very lovely emotional card to have. In a re if they're in a relationship but these but the supporting cards around it don't really support that I'm seeing more of a working relationship because you've got the five of Pentacles in the background fives can also Pentacles is usually work in money a five can be a bit of a setback or you know a disappointment anyway I think she because we've got the justice card here I don't believe that they were in, in an actual relationship but they're how they relate to each other it looks like it's more of um a dramatic film role that they played a couple and then you got the justice card underneath justice when there's if there's a marriage or a relationship usually means a divorce or a split but i'm getting that um this this is what frames the central issue okay you got the justice which i, I have a feeling there's like a legal document um, you know when these actors sign on to something that's what they have to do and uh, we've got the aid of uh, another major kind of strength so um, the strength can be a bit funny um, you know either there's a bit of a control issue going on see how the maiden is trying to control the lion and you know it's trying to control how that person is speaking yeah I, I yeah you know what i'm getting from yuna's point of view that she was in this role i think it was a bit hard for her and um maybe she was told i would say more from management than lee jun ho that you need to be a certain way in the role if i think she found it oppressive because we've got the ten of uh, wands here, and that's in the challenge card. I think she, I think it was very hard work for her. I'm not sure if it was a film or a TV show, um, but th you know it required a lot of a commitment, and she found it a lot of work. Um, and then next is the ten of swords. You, you know, this is like wow, two tens next to each other like that. Uh, this is just when you're feeling devastated, um, defeated hard work and defeated not great so i think it's um okay so this is where she is now this is what's coming next um yeah it's almost like a betrayal feeling here i'm i'm not i'm not getting the sense that she had um a very positive experience on the film set further on you know lee jun ho he's a big actor he's in the spotlight and um it looks like this in the spotlight and the move this is in the surroundings the knight of pentacles now the knight of pentacles um is like an ongoing working card so i'm not sure if um what, what i'm seeing basically is that it's more of a working relationship with him and i think it was challenging for you now i'm not saying that lee jun ho was difficult to work with but i think the the film set itself she found it a bit too much now the knight of pentacles suggests that 
either they're going to come together for a sequel or another TV show. Like I said, I didn't look them up that closely, so I don't know how they relate. I think they start together. Um, so it looks like, you know, the night, this, you know, and, and also it's kind of a double edged sword. It gave her a lot of um, exposure being with Lee Jun Ho. And I think the expectation is, um, I mean, these cards are mostly sort of positive. The fans liked what they saw. Um, and I think for her, this is her hopes and fears about Lee John Ho with the Page of Cups. It's usually, you know, I could either say maybe she's beginning to have feelings for him, but I'm actually getting the sense that she, she feels surprised that um, people like their chemistry, you know, on set. So people want more. <laughs> okay. And I think she's... Um, this tells me she's really struggling with that. I'm not sure if she has signed on to do, to work with him more, but um, it looks like she just, she didn't have a very good experience for some reason. Um, I think she felt the set was very controlled and I think it was very demanding of her time. Um, now this is like, you know, this is kind of continuing on from here. We've got the 10, 10 and justice. I think she feels very oppressed. Um, by the maybe it's the producer or someone that she's not keen on and then we've got the three of hearts so it's um I think she's having a real struggle if she wants to come back to do another show with him or film role yeah it, I think it was just too hard for her for some reason and she could have been um now I'm gonna have a look at uh, I did look up their astrology. Yuna, she has a Gemini sun. Um, her moon is in Leo. So when you talk about someone's sun sign, that's the face that they give the world. And all the planets behind them is sort of what helps shape their character. So her driving force is, uh, is a Leo moon. So she's definitely, she's not a, a shy wallflower, okay? Now her creativity, her Mercury is in Taurus, so there could be a bit of stubbornness there. Um, her Venus, her love planet is in Aries. So I have a feeling she's the type of person, I you know, I like to look at where their Venus sits because um, it's not just a love relationship. It, it's, you know, what you love in your life, relationships, people, that kind of thing. So I think she sort of it could make her head strong um, in terms of if she likes someone, she'll just, you know, she'll run off a cliff for somebody. This way Aries is. Um, and then later on, she might regret. <laughs> so but when I looked at her um, needle chart, she was mostly a water dominant um, in her natal, which means most of her planets are in water signs, which could make her very intuitive. And it can be um, a bit of a double-edged sword when you're water dominant because your emotions can be very full one day and the next day you, you you know you can have highs and lows with the water um now she's born in the the metal horse so she's very i would say she's probably quite intelligent and um and the horse gives her you know, when she goes for something she really goes for it so she she puts a hundred percent of herself in but somehow when i look at this it's like wow it's like she jumped into something and immediately there, you know there was like resistance and she wasn't happy about certain things i'm not saying i'm not seeing that it's i'm asking how she feels about lee john ho but i'm getting like a working feeling from this and she sees him in a favorable light she likes him but um i'm not seeing necessarily a romantic relationship and actually when i think when i looked at lee john ho in the past i think when he's worked with other actors actresses um i get the sense that he's a very giving you know um actor with the other people you know very professional and he tries to help them along but i'm getting the feeling that the film industry in south korea is probably really tough on women um yeah it's just you know it's just the way it is unfortunately I and mean, things are probably changing but i think i think yuna had a real tough time with this now lee jan ho when i looked at uh, his natal chart he has an aquarius sun that will go really well with her gemini sun um he's uh his moon, no, his moon, I, I wrote that down wrong. Um, his Venus is in Capricorn. So that makes he's very um, focused on work. When it comes to relationships or anything like that, he's not too touchy-feely. 
Um, but he has a certain amount of ambition, definitely. Now, he's, most of his natal chart is Earth dominant. Most of his planets are um, Earth based, um, like uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And he's born in the year of the Earth snake, so he could he could charm anyone off. <laughs> he's, he could be very charming around people, very diplomatic and charming. So, yeah, it's um it's interesting. I'm not sure why Yuna had a tough time here, but um, I feel like it's more related to work. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm yeah I'm not seeing that there's like this. You know, if they look at, if they have great chemistry on set. You have to put it down to their, their two professionals, very good at what they do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have a look at um, how Lee Jun Ho feels about you now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.